channel welcome back to another video if you're new here hi welcome my name is Deborah I am so thrilled to have you here on my channel so today I am doing another productive work from home vlog I've had quite a productive morning it's almost noon right now and I'm just about to take my lunch break so I just figured I'd say hi I've had a productive morning so far my head is rubbing so i think i will after eating take a nap in my lunch break but i'm just gonna sit down because my my back hurts i'm actually really tired but yeah i hope y'all are doing so well the lighting here is better i look bald from this angle but my hair is just really sleeked back and my forehead is just it's just taking over man. what can i say but anyway i hope y'all are doing so well um yeah i'm just feeling really really mondays are one of my busiest days it requires a lot of mental energy and focus from me and so usually by like this time of the day i'm just very i'm feeling very spent and just exhausted um i'm hoping as time goes on that's something i can manage better but i am glad that i get to work from home on mondays it yeah it means just less distractions and i can kind of nap peacefully on my lunch break if i feel so inclined but yeah um that's where i'm at right now i am quite hungry i think maybe when i once i eat drink a lot of water i'll feel a bit better but yeah i just thought i would come in here and say hi see how y'all are doing and just share how my day is, day is going so far i feel like i'm low energy but really it's just because of just yeah just how my energy levels tend to just kind of work throughout the day but i'm hoping once i eat rest a bit you know not look at any screens maybe i'll watch tv but like not look at any screens play on my phone or anything like that i'll feel a lot better and my headache will dissipate but yeah i just wanted to come and say hi speak a little bit and i will talk to y'all later maybe when i'm done work we'll see
Um, yes, I actually don't want to start a new claim. I'm calling because last week I called in a claim for my windshield and so I was just so I just got off the phone at the insurance company because when I was driving up to Edmonton was it last weekend now? Yeah, last weekend. I got a massive rock chip on my windshield and it's kind of spread into a crack so i just knew i needed to replace it so i had called i'm pretty sure like as soon as i got back on sunday i had called um and filed a claim and the person i spoke to said someone would call me back in like a couple of days and it's a week today and still hadn't heard from anybody so i just had to call him back and apparently there was like this person didn't even file a claim so i have no idea what they did so i had to file a credit claim from scratch and so now i think it's good to go so i'm gonna need to call the windshield repair shop and get it taken in but like my poor car has been through it in july it got it got caught in a hailstorm and it, so it has like incredible um a significant amount of hail damage on the body for which i'm actually taking it into the shop in september and it's going to be in the shop for a long time and then now barely a couple of weeks later <laughs> i have to change my windshield so and then i'm having to spend pay for a deductible which is like fine my deductible is like only 250 and it doesn't affect my premiums but at the same time it's just like geez crazy but I'm do glad I, I, I am glad that I have comprehensive because the damage from the hill alone was almost 15 grand imagine if I was having to pay out of pocket for that anyway I'm still working away but I just needed to like kind of get that sorted out because it was literally driving me up the wall that I hadn't heard back, but it makes sense now because the claim never went through, so great. Hi again. So, um, I swear, a siren goes off like a fire truck, police car, something. It just goes off like every 10 minutes. It's, it's ridiculous. Anyway, this is... Anyway, this is not the most flattering angle, but I don't really care. Um, I am all done for the day. Uh, and I also spent just a little bit of time after work um, editing a podcast episode. So if you don't know, if you're new here, which I think a lot of people are, so hi. <laughs> What's wrong with me? <laughs> Anyway, uh, if you're new here and you don't know, I do have a podcast where I kind of talk about, you know, my life and where I'm at and my healing journey when it comes to um, healing my inner child, self-confidence. I also talk about like a lot of dating stuff. So if you're interested, uh, make sure to check out the podcast. I'll have it. It's always linked in the description. But anyway, I upload episodes every two weeks so twice a month and an up an episode is going to be going live why am i why am i so nervous an episode is going to be going live on friday so i just spent some time yesterday um i had recorded uh an episode and so i spent some time today just editing it the beauty about audio um content is that it's generally so easy to 
record and because i'm recording myself i can kind of like edit in a way as i as i go so post-production i don't have a lot of stuff to do so i just added some music cut like little bits here and there and added my intro um anyway so i finished doing that so that is ready to be uploaded and then i also spent some time editing this week's uh, YouTube video which by the time you're watching this would already be live obviously um and then so yeah right now I'm just chilling I'm still feeling really really tired I don't know what's going on I might need to I recently got like blood work done and I and I'm not like low on anything like my iron historically have I have struggled with low iron but it has been really good you know per my it's good for my latest blood work so i'm not like sure why i'm sort of dealing with fatigue but i'm really tired right now i was hoping i'd be able to cook i marinated some chicken gizzards if you're nigerian you know chicken gizzards are like delicious I marinated that yesterday it's still in the fridge i don't think i'm gonna be able to cook it today i was hoping i'd cook it tonight but um that's not gonna happen but like it's not gonna go bad actually you know what maybe i should just like get over myself and just do this just spend some time cooking because like the thing is it's only past four right and so it just it doesn't i can't start like winding down right now because that means i'm gonna be i'm not gonna sleep well essentially but anyway point i'm trying to make is maybe i should just get over myself and just cook the damn food and just have it out of the way um so maybe i'll just i'll just do that but like i like productive days i like being productive but sometimes i find that it's like very difficult for me to um do what i want to do even even though i really want to do it just because of like energy levels right i really struggle with like low energy and it's like sometimes i wonder how i'm able to get anything done but anyway so in addition to wanting to cook tonight i also want to edit um some short form content for instagram and tiktok one for my kind of like personal fun instagram and one for like my where you planted podcast instagram so also if you're not following me on instagram make sure you do so link in the bio blah 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 link in the description blah 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 but i think i'm just now i'm feeling a bit more energized it kind of comes and goes it comes and goes in waves and so i think i'm just going to capitalize on this little burst of energy and hope that by the time i'm done um cooking and doing everything i need to do I will be tired enough to just kind of like do my nighttime routine and go to bed. So yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do like a cooking montage. That just yeah. I mean, I'll show you like the finished product though. But I think I'm just gonna make like stewed gizzard, and that should be that should be pretty good. So yeah. Oh, but the moment slipped away. Just taking a shower and I just decided that I wanted to share my quickly share my nighttime skincare routine with y'all. So my skincare routine is pretty honestly mostly straightforward. I use very few products um, and I just kind of like to keep it simple. I wash my face in the shower and I use, I swear by the Koji San soap and this is by the brand so the kojic acid soap and this is by the brand koji san i've been using this soap since like 2021 so in like at the towards the end of 2020 and for like most of like for the first half of 2021 i was really struggling with like some weird acne i think it was caused by stress because then because at that point in my life i was in grad school and i was still kind of like um like in the throes of grief because i had lost my grandmother in 2020 anyway 
what I'm trying to say is I think it was a very stressful point in my life and so I guess I reacted by like with this like weird acne and it was very strange because I've generally had pretty clear skin I've never really had any issues with acne um, and so it was just kind of weird to have to go through that and it really did take a hit on my self-confidence but since I started using that soap in 2021 I have not looked back and I, I have not used any cleansers um face face washes since then and it's been it's been working well for me so and i put like some of my friends on it too okay so after i cleanse my face wash my face whatever obviously it's dry the next thing i like to do at night is i like to use the squalane the 100 percent fat thrive squalane uh by the ordinary and this looks like this and it's really just great for hydration because Especially in the winter, I find this is nice because my skin gets really dry and parched. But I do use like the tiniest drop because like a little goes a long way and um, too much and your face is just, it will leave your face feeling greasy if you use too much. So I just use a little bit. And then the next thing that I've recently started using is this Lancome Youth Activating Concentrate. It's kind of like a serum. I don't know what it's supposed to do, but it was gifted to me. Uh, my aunt gave it to me. And I'm like, you know what? I It's nice. I'm going to use it see what it does. I just do like... It's like a couple of drops. Nothing crazy. And I just... Pat that into my skin. And make sure I get my neck too. I'm not an eco skincare expert. This is just what I do. And I find that it works for me. So if I'm not applying things in the right order, please forgive me. And then I also like to use a night cream. And this one is also by uh, Lancome. And just this is just what it looks like. I hope this is in focus. I don't have my glasses on, so I can't really see. Um, and I like to use like a little bit, just underneath my eyes. And I pat that in. And I think you're also really supposed to put this over, like on your lid, just kind of like around your eyes. But I generally try to avoid my lid area right now like my lash area and my eyelids just cause I have lash, ex lash extensions and you're generally supposed to avoid um, any kind of oil based product although I don't think this is oil based but just in case I think it's water based but it probably has some oils final step is moisturizer and this is by The Ordinary it's their natural moisturizing factors plus phytoceramides and this provides rich surface hydration Again, this is one of them ones where a little goes a long way and like this is really how much I use and I just apply that everywhere. And I've tried a couple moisturizers by The Ordinary and I think this one is my favorite. Another favorite of mine is the Kiehl's moisturizer. It's so good but like it's so expensive. A little 50 milliliter. Um, tub is like 50 some bucks and i just i just and if i wanted to get like the 100 milliliter it's probably close to like 50 dollars i just haven't been able to bring myself to spend that much on a moisturizer so for now i'm just using the one by the ordinary and i think it's working well and then i'm just gonna apply some lip balm before I go to bed, after I brush my teeth, I will use my Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. This stuff is so good and it lasts for a long time. I think I've had this one for like probably close to over a year now. I still have a bit left, but this is usually like the last thing I do before I go to bed. And that is all she wrote for my skincare. So right now I'm just going to just go sit on the couch for a bit, journal read do some puzzles and probably try and edit um those short form videos that i need to edit because one of them i want to go up
for too long 